ഹലോ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു ലേൺ ഫിസിക്സ് ഇൻ ടുഡേസ് ടോപ്പിക് വി ആർ കണ്ടിന്യൂയിങ് വിത്ത് ആർ മാഗ്നറ്റിസം ആൻഡ് മാറ്റർ ഓക്കെ സോ ടെൽ സി ലാസ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ് വി ലേൺ അബൌട്ട് ദ ടോർക്ക് ആക്ടിങ് ആൻഡ് ബാർ മാഗ്നറ്റ് ഓൾ ദോസ് തിങ്സ് വി ലേൺ ദിസ് എൻ സോ ഐ തോട്ട് വി വിൽ കമ്പയർ സി ഐ വി ആർ സ്റ്റഡിയിങ് ഓർ ഇലക്ട്രോ സ്റ്റാറ്റിക്സ് ആൻഡ് മാഗ്നറ്റോ സ്റ്റാറ്റിക്സ് ദർ ഇസ് ആസ് ഇഫ് വി ആർ കമ്പയറിംഗ് ദ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് വി നോ ഇറ്റ്സ് ബോത്ത് ആർ ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് സിമിലർ സി ഇൻ ലാസ്റ്റ് ഇയർ വി ലേൺ അബൌട്ട് ദ റൊട്ടേഷണൽ മോഷൻ ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് ദ ട്രാൻസ്ലേഷണൽ മോഷൻ ഇൻ റൊട്ടേഷൻ ആൻഡ് വി വി ആർ കമ്പയറിംഗ് ഓൾ ദോസ് വെലോസിറ്റീസ് ആക്സിലറേഷൻ എവറിത്തേക്ക് ഇൻസ് ദ മൊമെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് എനർജി ആ മാസ് ഹൗ വി ആർ കമ്പയറിംഗ് ദാറ്റ് വൺ ദ സെയിം വേ ഹി ആർ വി ആർ കമ്പയറിംഗ് ഓർ മാഗ്നറ്റോ സ്റ്റാറ്റിക്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇലക്ട്രോ സ്റ്റാറ്റിക്സ് സോ വിച്ച് എവർ വി ലേൺ ടെൽ നോ സി ഐ റോട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഓവർ ഹിയർ here electrostatic analog of magnetism magnetostatics okay here first we are considering the dipole moment dipole moment representation is see two magnetic poles separated by a particular distance strength of one side into distance between the two poles isn't it strength of one side into distance between the two poles that is magnetic dipole moment if it is electric dipole moment means one of the charges into distance between the two charges that is p equals q into 2a magnetic moment m electric electric dipole moment is p now it is torque torque acting on the system we got it as in last video only we did right to equals m cross b but torque to in electrostatic it is p cross e because here magnetic dipole moment here we are considering the electric dipole moment here magnetic uh, field strength and here we are writing the electric field strength then potential energy m dot b but in electrostatics we got it as p dot e negative sign also same only isn't it see field intensity in the axial line and the equatorial line we learned in the axial line it is 2m by d cube and in uh, electrostatic it is 2p by r cube but 1 mu 0 by 4 pi is the constant over there here 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is the constant isn't it here b e that is m that is equatorial line m by d cube and it is p by r cube so it is almost the same only some quantities some general quantities are changing okay so this one so uh, have a look at all those things which is uh, which will be useful and it will be easy for you to uh, understand the electrostatics and uh, magnetostatics okay so in next theory portion is gauss law that is the important law which we learned in electrostatics isn't it so obviously in magnetostatics also gauss law will be there so now we are going to study about the gauss law in magnetism okay so close the integral over electric field electric flux over a closed surface is equal to 1 by epsilon 0 times the charge enclosed in the surface that is the gauss law which we learned in our electrostatics isn't it now in magnetism in a closed surface magnetic flux enclosed in that closed surface will be equal to 0 closed integral b dot dl this is the magnetic flux isn't it that will be equal to zero this is gauss law in magnetism in magnetism closed for any closed surface the closed surface magnetic flux linked with the circuit will be equal to zero that is total flux one is and uh, going out from the surface and they will be coming inside the surface so closed integral b dot dl will be equal to zero closed surface and while we are considering a closed surface the total flux link magnetic flux linked with the circuit will be equal to zero number of lines leaving the system will be coming to the system also if i am considering a north and south pole see so from north if one line is going that uh, that will end at the south pole so the total flux will be equal to zero 
okay so clear so it is clearly saying that magnetic dipole is existing it is magnetic monopoles are not existing because if dipoles of opposite pole is there then only it will become equal to zero right so it is clearly saying that it is magnetic dipoles are existing monopoles won't exist so if we are comparing this with electrostatic closed integral e dot dl will be equal to q by epsilon zero okay this is electrostatics this is for magnetostatics so here in the closed surface in a closed surface while we are considering the magnetic field length with that surface will be equal to zero so uh, sorry not dl it's ds closed integral b dot ds will be equal to zero magnet in a surface only we are considering isn't it in a, through a length we can't consider electrostatics means we can consider the length here surface we are considering a surface over here so in this surface we are considering closed integral b dot ds will be equal to zero okay clear for you so next we are going to study about earth's magnetism so earth's magnetism see we know earth has some magnetic properties isn't it so that is why from small class onwards we are studying if we are suspending a magnet it will be existing it will be in north south direction see what if we are disturbing in between also finally it will come back in the north south direction like that in small classes also you are learning the same thing okay so we are thinking that earth has some magnetic properties okay so what are the properties of this earth's magnetism and what is whether earth has magnetism or not that and not we are going to discuss now okay so we know suppose if this is earth this is earth okay so it is it has some axis of rotation this is the axis of rotation axis of rotation okay we know that it has geographic this is geographic north pole and this is geographic south pole and it has an equator this is the equator or if i am representing okay like this i am representing the equator okay earth has equator also and it will be it has some magnetic properties if it has some magnetic properties it will be having a south pole it's inside that i am drawing a magnet if this is the magnetic a magnet or inside the that magnet as such it is not existing i am comparing the north south side of north and south poles of the magnet and drawing a magnet for that okay if it has we can draw it in as, as a magnet right so this is the geographic axis this is the geographic equator okay and this is the magnet which is present and if a magnetic magnet will be having an axis right so while we are comparing that axis it will be 11.3 degree west of north pole 11.3 degree west of north pole this magnetic axis is existing it has a magnetic axis so you understood right earth has an axis of rotation that axis of rotation i am calling it as geographic axis that is the geographic axis and this is the magnetic axis okay that magnet is magnet is not exactly pointing towards the north pole magnetic properties while we are comparing that magnetic properties are making an angle 11.3 degree west of our this normal geographic axis okay so if we are comparing like this okay that axis will be having an equator okay so that 11.3 degree like this it is an equator for that so that is magnetic equator so it has a 11.3 degree west that degree difference will be there from the vertical direction now clear for you geographic axis geographic equator 
magnetic axis and magnetic equator. So it has some magnetic properties. Okay, so that magnetic properties because of this magnetic properties we are going to consider about some of the magnetic elements. What are the motives meant by this magnetic elements? To know the pro magnetic property of a place, the some of the quantities which we need to know, those quantities are called as magnetic elements. Magnetic elements gives the magnitude and direction of magnetic properties of a place. The magnetic elements gives the magnitude and direction of the magnetic properties of earth at a place. So suppose if we need to know our magnetic properties of a place, we should find out this magnetic elements. That will be giving the direction as well as magnitude. Clear for you? Now we are going to study about these magnetic elements. Okay. Now we are going to consider about the magnetic elements. So magnetic elements are the properties of earth's magnetic field at a place which gives a proper value for the direction and magnitude of earth's magnetism. Okay, so first one is magnetic declination. What is meant by magnetic declination? See, I told you earth has a north pole and south pole. Okay, so that axis is called as geographic axis. Geographic axis. And it has magnetic axis will be going like this isn't it so the angle between this geographic axis and magnetic axis is called as this magnetic declination the angle between geographic axis and magnetic axis is called as magnetic declination that is represented by the angle theta okay so the angle between so at a particular place while we are considering what is the axis of rotation and the earth's magnetism in which direction it is acting see in all the points if it is same means no need of calculating isn't it but magnetic properties and strength will be changing from place to place isn't it so if we are considering the angle between geographic axis and magnetic axis that is called a magnetic declination okay clear that is represented by theta now next is magnetic inclination inclination or dip we will say magnetic inclination or dip it is called see magnetic inclination means see what is the total strength of the magnet Okay, so and the magnetic meridian. So we should know what is meant by magnetic meridian. So this is the magnetic axis. In that axis, if I am drawing a plane, that is called as magnetic meridian. Okay, so what will be geographic meridian? The plane which is passing through the geographic axis, that is called a geographic meridian so if a plane is like this and it is if i'm drawing a plane like this so that will be called as magnetic this is geographic meridian vertical plane like this i should consider one plane that is geographic meridian the plane which is passing through the magnetic axis this is this is called as magnetic meridian so now we have what is magnetic inclination magnetic inclination means the angle between the strength of magnet strength of magnet and the horizontal component of and the horizontal component of magnetic meridian 
magnetic meridian that is called as magnetic dip inclination or dip so if I so here I'll draw this is the geographic meridian so then it is making an angle theta degree see this is the magnetic meridian this one I am drawing it as magnetic meridian and this is geographic meridian ok then it is making an angle theta that theta is called as magnetic declination first we learned ok so now we are going to consider the strength of the magnet if the strength of the magnet is like this this horizontal component of the magnetic meridian makes with the strength of the meridian that is called as max magnet is called as magnetic declination or delta ok so magnetic inclination or dip which is delta so strength of the magnet and the magnetic meridian that angle is called as magnetic inclination or dip clear now now the third one is horizontal component of horizontal component of earth's magnetic field earth's magnetic field See, I am considering the see, magnetic field, st total strength of magnetic field I represent it like this. Its horizontal component if I am considering that is called as the horizontal component of its magnetic field. That is another component, another magnetic element. So magnetic element is 3 magnetic declination, the angle between geographic axis and magnetic axis. This magnetic inclination is the angle between the strength of the magnet and the uh, one horizontal side of the magnetic meridian. This is the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field. Now we are going to consider that. See this is geographic meridian. This is the magnetic meridian. This is magnetic meridian this is the geographic meridian this is the horizontal component which I am representing as H this is the strength of the magnet this is delta is the dip and this is theta now I am representing the this as A B and C ok now you understood this from here I am going to find out AB delta how we can find out delta ok what is the value of AB AB will be equal to this is R strength of magnet I am representing it as R R AB equals R what will be the opposite side it will be sin theta what is BH BH will be equal to R cos theta the, not theta here theta is delta delta is the angle so this is dip delta now what will be tan delta then tan delta will be AB divided by BH what is AB AB is the horizontal component that will be equal to BH tan delta so this is one of the equation now next if I am see squaring and adding this 1 and 2 what we will get r square sin delta equals v square r square cos square delta equals h square so r square is common r square into sin square plus delta plus cos square delta is 1 so r square equals v square plus h square so r equals root of v square plus h square this is another equation ok so this what is r strength of magnet that is equal to root of v square plus h square and vertical component will be equal to h tan delta what is h h is the horizontal component 
is it clear for you some of the uh, uh, some other special cases also they are relating to this that one we will uh, take it in the next class next video we will be considering so till then you study everything properly you will revise one more thing next class and we will continue okay so i am winding up for today so i hope all of you understood all those things if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching bye